All right, so some of y'all are having a little bit of issues getting the street sock around USA. Um, I know Friday night, the March 31st, they were talking about running the street stocks here. I do my restarts in third gear, just so you guys know, because, you know, first and second are just going to wind out way too quick. So we're coming down the back straightaway, and what I'm doing is I'm using that cutout that's in the back wall as my marker to start my turn. Now, if you notice, I threw it in there, but I was still on the trigger. You want to get the car to start to rotate, and then you brake, and then you catch the slide and start to feed the power back in. Let's show that again. Coming in, there's the cutout. I throw the car in hard on the brakes, get the car to rotate, catch the slide, and start to feed the power back in. And when I say throw the car in in the street stock, I mean throw it. You know, my, my hands are going almost to 9, 9 p.m. and 3, uh, or 9 and 3 as I'm going through the corner here. Now, this is how I do it. It may not be the absolute fastest way. It's the way I found to do it that's the easiest for me. Now, I know some of you are having problems. Hopefully, this helps you. Point two, four, now, seven. for markers, I'm using those tire marks on the pit wall there. I was a little late there, so I kind of overcooked it. And this cutout on the outside back wall, right to our right there, throwing it in, brakes. So let me do a couple laps without talking. Just just watch the bottom left. You see the, the throttle, brake inputs, and steering wheel inputs. Again, this is not going to be the absolute fastest. I'm sure there's guys that can do this a lot better than I can. But you got to remember, it's been about 20 years since I've had my fat ass in the street stock. So, and this is basically how I used to do it at Bolton. And the track's starting to go a little bit dry slick now that I've got a few laps on it. So the bottom's not going to be where you really want to be. You want to be, now oh, that's way too high right there. You want to be right about where my left side tires were with the right side of the car. 25.923. So you, you, hopefully you get the idea. That's generally what we're looking for. Blew right through the cushion right there. You can kind of see the cushion start to form about a groove and a half off the, the bottom of the track. 
and again, turned in way too late, blew right through the cushion. So hopefully this helps you guys a little bit. Again, watch the, the steering throttle and brake inputs. That's generally how I do it. Again, it's probably not ideal, but it works for me. Hopefully it'll work for you. All right, bye.